I'm Roman Burroughs with Geoprobe Service, and in this video we're going to show you how to check the track tension on your Geoprobe 3230DT. You need to check the track tension every 50 hours of operation, and improper track tension can affect track wear. I'm going to begin by picking the machine off the ground using the front outriggers and the rear blade, and I'm going to place some jack stands under the machine for safety. I'm going to pick one of the center two rollers. I'm going to check the tension on the track to make sure that it's at three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter in clearance between this point on the roller and this point on the track. In order to adjust track tension, I need to access the panel on the side of the track frame. I'm going to do so using a 13 millimeter socket. Inside you'll find a grease zerk. I need to loosen my track, so I'm going to use a 24 millimeter socket to loosen the grease zerk. Grease should come pouring out the side and loosen the track. I've loosened it just a little too far, so now I'm going to, I'm going to retighten the zerk, and I'm going to tighten the zerk to 25 foot-pounds. In order to retighten the track, I'm going to use my manual grease gun to pump grease into the zerk. That will extend the tensioner and tighten the track. I'm going to wipe off the excess grease. When I think I'm pretty close, I'm going to back up to one of the center rollers and I'm going to check the tension between the roller here and the track here to make sure it's between three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter in distance. That looks pretty good. Now I'm ready to close the panel again. Now that I have my tension adjusted on both sides, I'm going to spin the tracks while the machine is still in the air. I'm going to once again check the track tension on one of the center two rollers between this point on the roller and this point on the track and make sure that there's three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter in clearance. This one looks pretty good, and then I'm going to check the other side, and when I feel good, I'm going to take my jack stands out from underneath the machine, set it on the ground, and return to work. 